Prince, and I'm with one of my personal heroes again. Um, he's a legend, a man, a myth, the legend. <laughs> it's the, none other, but Dr. William Lane Craig. <laughs> I really vexed my kids in, that, in, the, in the class. Why can't I get where I'm going? Here it is, John Ankerberg. In one account that puts yeah. guards at the tomb. Were there guards okay. at the tomb? <laughs> well, now this is a question that I think is probably best left out of the program. This is a question that I think is probably best left out of the program because uh, the, the vast, vast majority of New Testament scholars would regard Matthew's tomb story, or guard story, as unhistorical. Um, I can hardly think of anybody who would defend the historicity of the guard at the tomb story. I and would, but I'm an idiot. Two. One is because it's only found in Matthew. And it, it seems very odd that if there were a Roman guard or even a Jewish guard at the tomb, that Mark wouldn't know about it and there wouldn't be any mention of it. The other reason is that Nobody seemed to understand Jesus' resurrection predictions. The disciples who heard them most often had not an inkling of what he meant. And yet somehow the Jewish authorities were supposed to have heard these predictions and understood them so well that they were able to set a guard around the tomb. And again, that doesn't seem to make sense. So most scholars regard the guard at the tomb story as uh, a legend or a Matthean invention that isn't really historical. Most scholars regard the guard at the tomb story as uh, a legend or a Matthean invention that isn't really historical. Fortunately, this is of little significance for the empty tomb of Jesus because the guard was mainly employed in Christian apologetics to disprove the conspiracy theory that the disciples stole the body. But no modern historian or New Testament scholar would defend a conspiracy theory. I would! Because it's evident when you read the pages of the New Testament that these people sincerely believed in what they said. So the conspiracy theory is dead, even in the absence of a guard at the tomb. The true significance of the guard at the tomb story is that it shows that even the opponents of the earliest Christians did not deny the empty tomb, but rather involved themselves in a hopeless series of absurdities, trying to explain it away by saying that the disciples had stolen the body. And that's the real significance of Matthew's guard at the tomb story.